All right, hello everybody, how's it going? Today's gonna be a different kind of a video. Um, today it's gonna be more of a tutorial <laughs> troubleshooting video on how to antique your soles uh, on your boots yourself. So, a little bit about what I'm about to do. I bought these Alden Shell Cordovan boots in color eight about five years ago now. Let's and they came with a black painted sole. And later, as I continued to research Alden, I noticed that a lot of the uh, really nice Shell Cordovan makeups that Alden does, have, they have the antique sole on them. And so that's, that's what made me start thinking, oh, maybe I should send these into a cobbler and uh, have, these, have these professionally antiqued, have the soles antiqued. So I sent them into Randy the Cobbler, and he did an amazing job. He he not only antiqued the soles, took them from black to this darker brown color, but he also installed these golden eyelets here. And I was always really happy with these, but the sole, it, I've always kind of wanted the sole just to be a little bit lighter. As you can see, it's still pretty dark, you know, which is good for a lot of applications, but um, I think for the most part, I enjoy the sole to be a little bit lighter. So for the purposes of this video, I actually went ahead and got started on this boot right here. I don't know if you could tell. Um, I, I lightened this up quite a bit. I sanded the, the paint off of that uh, using my Dremel. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's actually turning out quite nice. I am going to continue to apply a few more coats of this polyurethane uh, wax. It, it's, it's a polyurethane, yeah, clear gloss. It's, it's like a resin type material it's supposed to protect the soles. I noticed that the gloss in certain areas it looks glossy in other areas it's still it's still sort of dry looking so I'm going to continue to apply the mini wax to this uh, until I get the desired effect. I just kind of wanted to do this video to kind of show a couple things. First off how you can modify your footwear yourself. You don't necessarily have to take these to a professional. Is it a risk? Sure. I have read a few different you know cobbler forums and I feel like it's kind of common sense and I feel like you know if I mess it up that bad I could just send it into Alden and they'll they'll slap a new sole on there no problem as long as I don't damage the uppers then there's really nothing to worry about so but you know being that boot collecting is sort of my hobby I don't mind me personally I I, I don't get I don't mind taking a risk here and there and, and trying to do things myself would I try to install eyelets myself? No, I feel like that that's a, that looks to me like a lot more involved process. Obviously, you can see the eyelets, the hook eyelets poking out here, but then on the other side of the leather, you don't see you don't see where you know where those have been installed. You don't you know, so it's not like just snapping something in there. Installing eyelets is a, is a lot more of an involved process. But as far as antiquing the soles. All you're really doing is sanding off the paint around these edges and then, you know, repainting them if you want, you know, to, to the, with the desired gloss coating that you want to throw on there. So anyways, let me, let me show you kind of what I'm doing, bring the camera up a little bit closer and I'll start, I'll start the sanding process. All right, so I'm just going to get a shot of these in the natural light before I antique this one. But this is what it looks like before the antiquing. Again, Randy the cobbler did that antique job, and I and I like it. I want to say he used like a cherry finish on it. Some of that cherry finish has start. You could see it's starting to come off a little bit. I just kind of want to update it a little bit, sort of restore a little bit, and try it out myself. See how it works. But yeah, this is. So this is what the first, the first boot looked like after I took all the, sanded all the paint off of that. Yeah, there's certain areas like where the original black, you could still see these soles were originally black. And so you could see where the black, it's just not coming out. Like it's, I could see why he used a darker finish to kind of cover some of that up because that's just the way that the sole has been dyed and stained. And there's some of that, some of that is just not going to come out. So <laughs> not a big deal to me, but for some people it might be a big deal. So. It's just a word of caution <laughs> if you're gonna try something like this. So, yeah. 
All right, anyways. Hopefully the camera can capture what I'm doing here. It's not rocket science, it's just I have my Dremel here. I have the, uh, I have the sander, the sander implement in there right now, the sander insert. And all I'm gonna do is turn that on, go to town. <laughs> Being gentle, obviously. Start light, you know. Just realize it's gonna it's gonna come off gradually. It's not it's not gonna be a real fast process. And what I do periodically is I see how it's lightening up there. Yeah, right there. See how it's lightening up. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going at it like that until I get, you know, where I'm trying to get with it. Let's see where we're at now. Yeah, so a little lighter, little by little. See the toes lightening up real nice there. So, you know, so on and so forth. Actually, I should have included this to begin with. So before I started with the sanding, the sanding tool, I actually started with this thing. This, whatever this steel disc is, it really scrapes the paint off really well, as you can see right here. I'm really making a lot of, a lot of progress on this side as compared to this side I just used the sander on. So the sander did an all right job, but this, this thing actually does an incredible job at getting that, getting that first um, coat of paint off. So let's see if I can show you here. So yeah, you can see how it's pretty effective. It's probably the best example. See that? Making some real good progress there. I just went around the edges for the first time with the uh, steel brush tool thingy, whatever that's called. And you can see, making some good progress here. There's still some spots that I'm gonna wanna go over. Um, and I, I am gonna go over this with the sander just to smooth it out real well and miss any miss any little spots or, or correct any missed spots. There are, like I mentioned before, there are gonna be just some some dark spots that are never gonna come out. I could dig and dig and dig. They're never gonna come out because, like I said, these were tanned. I'm not sure of the tanning process that these went through. So, so for the most part, I'm stuck with some of these like darker inconsistencies. Like, I don't think that Alden anticipated that I'd be <laughs> antiquing these myself. So I think that, you know, the black, initially the black soul was intended as a, as a permanent thing. Yeah, so it's looking good. I'm gonna go over, so I'm gonna get a little close here so you can see what's going on. As you can see, it's really lightened up, but there are some really dark spots left that I just kind of want to correct before I actually go ahead and seal it off with that polyurethane wax. Just, there's certain things that you can't, that you're not going to be able to, to get rid of, and, and I'm okay with that, you know, like I said, I, I, I fully am cool with it not turning out perfect, you know, I, I made, I made amends with that before I even started this project, so. <laughs> it's actually, you know, to be perfectly honest, it's actually going way better than I anticipated. I, I really, I really want the soles to look as light as possible. You know, similar to my Grant Stone boots. This, this is, this seems to be the magic, uh, the magic tool here. This is the steel brush wheel thingy. So yeah, you can see I focused on that edge right there. Yeah, like the front kind of, you know, inconsistencies going on. But the back looks pretty good. The back looks actually pretty uniform. So I'm just going to go over that one more time with the sand, the sanding tool. 
Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to take the sander. I'm just going to even out some inconsistencies. I want to make sure that's all even. That's what's going on now. This gives it some uniformity. So as, I, as I'm doing this, I'm seeing debris, <laughs> both black debris from the rubber and, you know, brown debris from the, from the leather sole. I guess a word of advice that I would have if you're going to try this is don't be, don't be afraid. You're not going to, you're not going to dig so far into it that you're going to damage anything. There is a lot of wiggle room with this. You could, you could go, you know, further in and you're not necessarily going to, you know, hurt, hurt anything in the process. So it's just... Trying to kind of get a little bit aggressive right here, if you can't tell. I really want to get get this as light as I can, and and just some of this, these dark areas bother me. <laughs> so I'm trying to dig a little bit. Brush, brush, reassess. Yeah, that's that's just never coming out. Oh, that's looking good. Whew. That's actually looking a lot better than I anticipated. Right, I'm just going to go over the toe now. The toe's got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of added paint going on. Let's see if I can get that off. Hmm. Yeah, I actually made a lot of progress on the toe there that time. I think I think the the difference was was that I'm using a fresh I'm using a fresh sander. Wow, yeah, that that actually cleared up a lot. Okay, well, making progress then. Wow. Yeah, so I have to say the Dremel's almost perfectly uh, suited for this job right here. Yeah, so the more the more that I dig away at it, the lighter it seems to be getting around here. You could see that. Yeah, you could see that. All right, so it's looking good, but I'm not going to push it. You know, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. I don't see any real need to keep pushing it. I got a substantial amount of the of the color off the toe though, which I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, so it's real nice and evened out now. So what I'm gonna do, and then I'm also gonna show you a little bit about how I uh, how I'm applying this coat here. So I don't know if you can see, but you see how some certain areas are glossy and certain areas just aren't. So I've uh, I've applied two even layers of this mini wax across the surface of this, and and it's just on these areas that appear dry, it's just not taking on that glossy finish look for some reason. I, um, but there's certain other areas, I assume, because they're not as non-porous, that they're um, that they're, it, it does look more glossy. So the areas that are porous, I assume, probably need a few more coats. This is so this will be the third coat that I'm doing right now, and I'm being careful to sort of tilt angling it so that I don't get any of this on the leather. If you do, not a big deal. Um, this is mostly used on wood. Mind you, I didn't read this anywhere on a, on a cobbler forum <laughs> that this was a good idea, so I hope it's... <laughs> I hope it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm no expert, but, you know, listen to me. So right now we're just making little clouds, little clouds in the sky. How about some trees? How about some nice slopes. Just kidding. I'm using my thinnest brush here. And yeah, like I said, so since originally this sole... Okay, so I have the third coat on there, and it takes, according to the directions on the on the mini wax, it takes about three hours to fully, you know, let the finish dry. 
this might not be the last coating. I might need to do more, but that's the beauty of doing things yourself is you can keep doing it until you decide that you're done. Oh, so that's how I, that's how I like to do things. Oh, I like to improvise. I like to read, you know, about what other people do, but then I like to take the project <laughs> into my own hands and sort of improvise as you can see. Go. Oh. We're now in day three of my antiquing adventures. And uh, just to give you a little progress update, th this is their fourth coat of this mini wax, and it's really starting to look good now, I think. I'm gonna do another coat and see where we are after that. But as you can see, the gloss going around the sole is getting fairly consistent. There's still sort of some dry patches going on. But for the most part, I think it looks, it's looking really good. And I gotta say, you know, like if you're gonna hire a cobbler to do this, understand, I, I understand now why it takes some time. Because when I sent these into uh, Randy the cobbler initially, they, he, he had them for about a month and, and I get why. I mean, he, probably, he was probably having to do, you know, multiple coats of of different finishes he was probably having to you know play around with different colors and stuff like that so I get it I mean he probably put many many hours into these boots and I think I think I only ended up paying him about 120 bucks which is nothing in the grand scheme of things I mean you figure he, he threw on those he, he threw on the gold eyelets and you know, he also antiqued the soles, it, it, you know, just getting the paint off around those edges takes takes some effort. So I, I get, you know, now why, uh, I totally understand why people would want to just go the cobbler route because these are guys that have probably done these things before and are well versed in, in the different types of, uh, products to use on shoes more so than your average you know consumer so it, it it totally makes sense I'm just trying to take one step further into this is all that's why I'm doing this and I, I like to understand that kind of kind of more in depth get more in depth with this stuff some of it's out of curiosity some of it's yeah I want to enhance the aesthetic to my to better suit my tastes but some of it is, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of curious, you know, just kind of curious about how, how all this works. I wiped the boot down real good with a wet cloth and then allowed it to dry. All the, let all the moisture evaporate off of it, if that makes sense, before applying this clear coat. All right, so. This is the again this is the first coat on the on the right boot. The other boot I have now five coats on it. So this this will be the first of, of a few. I what I do is I put a coat on and I allow I allow about three hours or more before I attempt the next. I got the smallest brush that I could find just because this is a precision job you don't want to go slathering that on so easy anybody could do it <laughs> I'm gonna go over these dry spots again because I could see already it's this stuff's already absorbed in there be a little bit more aggressive there hopefully not have to do quite as many coats as I did on the other one I've said this before when it comes to anything Sometimes you just you just gotta improvise as as, it, as the situation unfolds. You can't just necessarily sit down and know exactly what's gonna happen all the time. Like I, I looked on cobbler forums and I couldn't even find what they use as a finish on soles because you can't hardly find anything about antiquing. You know, uh, it's really one of those things where I'd have to just go and ask somebody specifically about how to do it, and that that's. It's time consuming, you know. Some on some forums you get answers, 
you Google things and you find answers pretty quickly, but in, in other times you don't, and you know, you just you just gotta wing it. Okay, well, I just got home and I'm having a look at these now, and uh, I gotta say the 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 last coat of the lacquer has dried. Look at that. I think it turned out pretty dang good. I think the uh, antiquing on the soles is a lot more pronounced now, and and I think it I think it looks really good. Um, you know, time time will tell how, how these how these hold up, but overall, I'm qu I'm quite satisfied with how it turned out. I might try sanding it down to remove that the that overall glossy. I might try sanding it down to remove some of that glossy appearance, but it doesn't really bother me that bad. Here's this one, not not bad at all for a DIY job, you know. This is, they each had about six, six different coats of the polyurethane. And you know, I, I hope I hope it holds up. If not, oh well, I'll, I'll sand it off and try something else. But for now, I think it really turned out really nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. So anyways, if you have any questions about this, um, feel free to, leave a comment below and again I am on Instagram you can follow me there I'm arrow surfer LV and uh, you could you can watch you can watch how I wear these and and watch what I pair them up with now that they're all nice and have a new look to them all right guys thanks a lot and I'll see you in my next video